airborne through the Hellman's night. 500 infantrymen from the Black Watch Battalion are on their way into the Taliban heartland. These are nervous moments. The Chinooks are big targets. And as the troops get on the ground, they are welcomed by gunfire. No one's hurt, but it's a sign of things to come. Witchcraft 6-1, this is Witchcraft 6-3, ever. As dawn breaks, A Company have set up their HQ in a village compound about a kilometre from where they landed. We can hear the sound of firefights nearby, so as the soldiers stand too, we join them on the roof for a closer look. We'll know it's incoming fire, they say, by the sharp crack of the bullets as they pass overhead. Get down. OK, we've been in the compound a couple of hours now and we've been taking fire for the last half an hour. And these guys are coordinating the response. See it from sniper teams either side of us. We're calling in some fast air support. Everybody's keeping their heads down up here. The Taliban position is identified and a bomber jet is called in and then called off. When the sniper teams report that they have dealt with the gunman, there's a moment to relax. <laughs> the noise of gunfire is replaced by the scream of the American support helicopters circling overhead. At dusk, the compound is attacked again. The response this time is more direct. Despite the heavy machine gun fire that they let go just then, the Black Watch aren't sure that they have uh, got that Taliban firing position. So they're calling in some guided missiles. The insurgents are faced with overwhelming firepower here, but they are far from beaten. They keep coming. They are not afraid to die. Geraint Vincent, ITV News, Babaji.